Thank you for listening this week. I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I am the pastor of Abundant Grace Church. For prayer and information, you may email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our message title today is The Two Ways. I'll be coming from Psalm chapter 1 and verse 6. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. My beloved, this verse outlines the inescapable truth that there are only two roads and two destinations to which they lead in eternity. The word way in the Hebrew means road. There is only one way leading to heaven, the way of the righteous, and one way leading to hell, the way of the ungodly. My beloved, there is a very common word in scripture, but it is significant that its first occurrence is in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 24, referring to the way of the tree of life. Once expelled from the Garden of Eden because of their rebellion, Adam and Eve no longer could travel that way of life and began to die. The equivalent Greek word in the New Testament is hodos, also meaning road, and it occurs quite frequently. Its literal meaning, that of an actual roadway, and it lends itself very easily to the figure of a style of life whose practice leads inevitably to a certain destiny. Since there are only two basic ways of looking at life, the God-centered viewpoint and the man-centered viewpoint, there are only two ways in life, the way of the godly and the way of the ungodly. One leads to life and the other to death. My beloved, there is no other way. The Lord Jesus taught, enter ye in at the straight, which means narrow gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many go there, be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. That is the Gospel of Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 to 14. So my beloved, Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 12 tells us, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. But what is the way of the righteous that leads to life? In John chapter 14 and verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 says, This is the way. Walk ye in it. My beloved, it hurts my spirit to know that many will be traveling down the wrong road, which leads to destruction. It is the challenge of every Christian to take the word of God to the lost, to those that are going through the wide gate that leads to destruction, and tell them, about Jesus Christ, who is the narrow gate, which leads to eternal life. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, open the door for us to minister to others about the narrow way that leads to eternal life. For many are going down that wide way, which leads to destruction. Destruction and death mean hell or the lake of fire. Lord, give us wisdom on who to take your gospel to, that they may have the opportunity to repent and get on the right path, which leads to life which is the path that leads to heaven. Thank you, Father, for stressing the importance of us taking the gospel to those who are lost and perishing without hope. In Jesus' name, we praise you and thank you. Amen. My beloved, have a great and fruitful week.